dude. What's going on? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Hey guys, I'm gonna be uh, shooting some paint, even though it's not the best paint, on these uh, brackets and hood release that I got from that 74 GMC truck at the junkyard about a week or so ago. I, trying to make the most of the day. Just to give you a little update of what's going on real quick, uh, Brian, who is G GM Space Tim 38, he is trying to get his 1985 Chevrolet truck ready to go to the raw drive. So he has been busting his behind trying to get it ready to go. And if you'd like to see all the progress he has made, please go to his YouTube channel uh, GM, GM space, hit the space bar, Tim 38. What's, can, what's the rod run? The rod run is in Pigeon Forge, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. Pigeon Forge where? What state? Tennessee, United States, in the, in, <laughs> in the world. So, <laughs> she's been, she's been picking at me a lot. Anyway, just to give a little update, we got the house pressure washed. About two days ago, had a, a really good friend that had a boom lift that could go up and get all, all the green and stuff. We've had so much rain and mold has been growing on the roof and on the vinyl siding. So uh, we got it all fresh and washed off and it looks so much better. I felt sorry for him because in the shutters, especially in the backyard, there was a lot of waspers. Waspness. Yeah, waspers. Wasp nest. I live in Tennessee, so waspers. So anyway, he didn't get stung, but he said he got, they got real close to him. And talked to Tim Dixon today briefly on the phone. And Tim is, uh, you can find Tim on Facebook at Gas Axe Chop Shop in 10 Mile, Tennessee. And uh, he said he sold his dually, the, the lowered dually, uh, square body truck and I think he said it's going to Mississippi and since and he has bought another trailering special square body which I'm going to go over whenever he gets at home and he's bought a another like bread bread truck like truck that he's fixing for himself and Wilma is still over there and he told me that after, whatever's in the garage now when it gets pulled out Wilma is next. So that's great. And the guy that's coming to get the the guy that's coming to get the square body four door dually truck that he sold is driving a 62 Cadillac LS powered. So I'm going to try my best to be over there to record that because that would be pretty interesting. And uh, what else has been going on? So anyway, there's, we do a whole lot of stuff we don't film. So some of this stuff, when I do film, might not be interesting. So I'm going to try to get rid of it. I got a little bit of this gloss paint. I'm going to try to use it up because it's taking up more space than what it's worth. Just spritz it on there best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you look at my stuff, it doesn't have to be perfect. So... I'm just kind of hitting it on there. There's not much left in this can. So, what else is there? Oh, I know what I meant to tell you. That's the main reason why I wanted the missus to help me. Is yesterday, we was going down the road, and we were getting our neighbor's trash cans and putting them back toward their house. Uh, we try to get the neighbor's trash cans. Trying to be a nice guy. Well... Uh, I got back in the truck. We was in this Silverado when we was going somewhere. Anyway, uh, we was listening to the, the radio station uh, out of Crossville, Tennessee. 1057, The Hog. Anyway, we were listening to that, and it, it come up time to get a, a Mexican, a two-person two Mexican dinner, if you could answer some questions. So the questions that... Uh, we we got he picked up the phone and I mean we was on the air, so uh, the questions was who is a, who was the maid or the butler 
on some of the TV shows he was going to bring up. So he brought up uh, Bruce Wayne, of course that's Batman from the mid '60s, and uh, who was the butler? And uh, the butler's name I got it. It was Alfred. What's another one? He asked. Uh, Brady Bunches. The, yeah, the Brady Bunch. They're made Should we with... tell them the answers? Yeah. Okay, I'll tell you the answers. Brady Bunch, of course, is uh, Alice, right? Yes. And then... Uh, All in the Family. No, All Family and Fair. Family and Fair. Do y'all do remember that? I'll give, you, I'll give you five seconds. One of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, five. It was a... Uh, what's the name of the show? Oh, Mr. French. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Sebastian yeah. Cabot. Sebastian Cabot. And the other one was... Uh, <laughs> Uh, Hazel, who was Hazel's boss on the TV show Hazel? I guess you got to be an Mr. Person. Baxter. Yeah, George Baxter. So, I guess you kind of got to be an older person to get it. But anyway, uh, he gave us a. We won some free Mexican dinners in Crossville. So sometime, the misses and I are going to go up there to Crossville. That's a pretty good drive for us. It'll take us. Your overspray is going towards that truck. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. FYI. FYI. Okay. Pause it and I'll move this down. You're on. Okay, it's probably good. You, she paused it anyway because a plane just flew over. I live by an airport and I honestly think that they're doing flying lessons. And one of the things is to see how many times you can fly over this house. This is the pattern that they take. Yeah, but... right over my house every day. So anyway, so, oh yeah, we won a Mexican uh, dinner at uh, Ramos, Ra Ramos in, in Crossville. So we've got to go pick that up from the radio station and the guy, got so tickled at us, tickled, I mean laughing at us, because uh, I guess I just got real excited. I've tried for like two years to get on there to answer the questions. And I, I guess when somebody, uh, when he starts saying he's gonna do a contest or something, everybody has the phone dialed already, you know, ready to hit the last number. So miraculously, we got through and one, so I'm real anxious to go up there. And if you've never heard of Crossville, Tennessee, if you've ever seen the movie uh, Alvin C. York, uh, that's where he was uh, born, was Crossville, Tennessee. It's a really good movie. It stars Gary Cooper and Walter Brennan. And the lady that played uh, on that TV series, Lassie, Timmy's mother, June Lockhart. So if you ever get a chance to see uh, Alvin C. York. It's really an excellent movie. I watch it every time I can catch it. But uh, anyway, that's what's been going on around here. Okay. Hey guys, I got all these painted best. I'm going to paint them. It doesn't have to be perfect because everything I have is not perfect. So it's just great. But these, in case you're a new person. Well, there are some things that are perfect. Yeah. She, my wife is perfect. I forgot about that. <laughs> Ain't she sweet, y'all? Anyway, I got those, this flat black, the best I could. And uh, in case you didn't know it, I, I don't know if I showed, I didn't show you before, but if you're a new person, it's for this 1974 uh, GMC grill that I got at the junkyard about a week or 10 days ago, something like that. And uh, anyway, I thought I better just paint them black and, so if I ever get to use it or something, but um, it's my understanding that these brackets are the same as like for a Chevrolet. Now this is a poor example. This is kind of like a parts when this is all broke and this, that, and other. But I'm hoping the brackets might be the same for the one that's like this is what I'm trying to get at, if that makes any sense. But this one has the 350 in it that I could put on here and there's a lot of good things about this grill, and I have another grill, too, that's in better shape, and that's the one I actually thought I picked up, but I didn't. I got this better-than-nothing grill, I'll say. So somebody's really jacked this one up and 
done a poor job painting it for some reason. I, anyway, it's nothing that can't be fixed with some more paint. So anyway, I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks a lot, and uh, we sure did have a good time talking to y'all. And uh, I want to say thanks, be safe, and God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Share my videos with your friends if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. trying to get the channel to grow. And it's a small channel, but I have some YouTube subscribers that are very passionate about what we do, right? Faithful. Faithful. That's the word I was looking for, faithful. I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. God bless. See you later.